YTBC, this is your boy Coach Shelton Harrison. And guys, I'm just going to go in quickly on Khan, man. You know, <laughs> if you are an Khan fan and you don't like people criticizing him, cut the video off. Cut this video off. Don't don't come on here and start trying to tell me that I'm doing I'm gay and all this other stuff. I'm not trying to hear that mess. Look, okay, I, this is a fair and honest assessment of what I think about a, a Amir Khan. It's an opinion, okay? It's my opinion. But I'm looking at this and I saw this video game. Now I I actually thought it was kind of funny, man. I was laughing because it's it's real funny. It's very funny. And uh, you know, he got it's a guy on the video game called Dollar Bill Junior. That you know. You know it's Floyd Mayweather Jr., you know, and it's implied that Floyd is ducking Khan. You know, that's what's implied. And I'm going to kind of hit y'all with a couple of facts. I'm going to hit y'all with some facts, okay? It's implied that Floyd Mayweather Jr. was ducking Amir Khan. And it's a couple of other guys in the video game, too, that, you know, Khan is implying that ducked him, okay? I don't know who Barry is. I try, I keep trying to relate who Barry, whoever it is, okay, who that is. I, I don't know who that is, okay? But uh, uh, apparently, you know, he done tried to duck Khan, too. But anyway, you know, the video game is very funny, man. It's real funny. But, you know, I look at this right here, and I look at this screenshot, and I'm like, we know that if Khan and Canelo ever traded shots like this, we know that the result on the right is going to happen. You guessed it. Amir Khan would be eating the canvas. <laughs> People, that's just the way that is. You ain't got to like that. That's a fact. If Amir Khan and the Canelo Alvarez traded right hands with each other, Amir Khan is going to the canvas. People, we can't deny that. We can't even try to say, well, Khan uh, got a better chin. Because if you say Khan got a better chin, then you just delusional as he is. <laughs> People, that, that's just how that is, okay? I, I, okay, don't shoot me. I'm the messenger here, okay? But one thing that's irking me about Khan, dude got a big fight. And I'm going to tell you, man, up to the draw of this fight, all I saw was Kamir Khan giving interviews, interviews, interviews. And I'm sitting here thinking, when does this guy ever train? I ain't seen a lot of interviews with Canelo. I haven't. And when I look at the videos of Canelo, Canelo is in that gym, man. That dude is putting in some serious work. And I'm talking about he putting in massive amounts of work, okay? Big time amounts of work. And you know, yeah, Amir Khan is a welterweight that's moving up. But Amir Khan, you know, and I have to admit, Amir Khan is not just an average welterweight. Because if Canelo cannot hit Amir Khan, if he can't hit him, Amir Khan will mess up and win a bunch of rounds against you. Because he'll hit you with four and five punch combinations at a time. And so he'll mess up and win rounds. So I get, I know why Canelo in there working. He's been working on his speed, man. I'm a Canelo fan. They've been working on speed, 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 speed. And they've been doing a lot of footwork drills. And I've been seeing some videos where Canelo has been practicing cutting off the ring. He's going to need that skill set against Can uh, against Khan. He's going to need it. But I ain't been seeing Canelo doing a lot of uh, uh, interviews. I haven't. And I can tell you what. You got a fighter that ain't doing a lot of interviews, you know they're in there trying to kill you. Khan, Khan you having your fun right now. He having his fun right now, but I'm going to tell you, man. This dude going to taste the canvas. He going to taste the canvas. See, let me tell you how Khan thinks. And I know how this dude thinks. I know how Amir Khan thinks, okay? See, Khan is thinking one or two things. Now, now, now y'all try to understand where I'm going with this now. He is thinking one or two things. The first thing Amir Khan can be thinking is, Well, hell, bloody hell. If I can just go 12 rounds with the, uh, with, if I can just go 12 rounds with Canelo, uh, I can I can pretty much say that I'm a warrior. And that's probably his first game plan is, look, let me just survive 12 rounds against Canelo without getting knocked the hell out. People, that's just how that is. That's just the way that is. Okay? He is trying to go and say that he is going to survive 12 rounds with Canelo. Okay? And that's, okay, fair. Or, you go to the second thing. You see, Khan... Like many of us, we do believe that Floyd is coming back for fight number 50. What a way to draw Floyd in to fight him. If he could actually win a decision against Canelo. Khan actually wants to go into this fight and do a better job against Canelo. You see, Khan got an erection. He got an erection when this fight was presented to him. Khan got a Floyd Mayweather Jr. erection when this fight was presented. 
and they and he said, "Oh yeah, yeah, I, I I'll go beat him better than Floyd did. I'll, I'll beat him better than Floyd." And I'm telling you, that's what he said. Khan game plan, and I know this dude because Amir Khan. If that was a class, I would have gotten an A. Okay, he gonna get in the ring with the thought process of, "I'm gonna do a better job on Canelo than Floyd did," and if I do that, then Floyd can't duck me anymore. That's what he thinking. Okay, but see. We're going to find out on Saturday. We really are, y'all. We're going to find out Saturday that Amir Khan is no Floyd Mayweather Jr. People, you Khan fans, whether you like it, don't like it, people, that's just the way that is. Amir Khan is no Floyd Mayweather Jr. He just not. And we're going to see. Because Canelo is going to hurt this guy. Okay? It, people, listen, that's my opinion. I'm sticking with it. That is my opinion, and I am sticking with the fact that I think Canelo is going to hurt him. People, sorry. But he's going to try to imitate and do what Floyd did, and he's going to try to do a better job. And now, my hat go off to him. If Khan do that, if, if Amir Khan does that, and he really does beat up on Canelo, I'm going to be happy for him. You know why? Because even though Canelo is my favorite fighter, this dude is fighting a welterweight. Khan really is a true welterweight. I, 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 you know, and I got to keep saying that. But Floyd was also a true welterweight. Floyd was a true welterweight, and, and, and he fought him. Yeah, but Floyd fought him at 152. Uh, uh, uh. Well, you know, that's true. That's true, he did fight him. But see, Canelo shouldn't have been fighting Floyd Mayweather in the first place. That's my opinion. Canelo Alvarez and Floyd Mayweather should have never fought. But see, now that it happened, and Canelo came in and fight night at 168 pounds, can you imagine? He probably going to come in at 170 fighting Amir Khan. He is. So really, Khan and Canelo shouldn't be fighting. But I ain't finna sit here and big props up Khan. I ain't finna, I ain't finna gas Khan up and then say, man, he got some heart. Floyd Mayweather had heart fighting this dude. Floyd Mayweather had a lot of heart fighting this dude. Okay, people, that's just how it is. Khan talking too damn much. Khan need to get in. Hey, man, listen, it's too late now to say what Khan need to do. Uh, it's going you, you, you gonna see on fight night. I mean, you are. How how long Khan gonna be able to avoid Canelo? And Khan don't move his head. He don't move his head. <laughs> I'm telling you, Canelo gonna counter this dude, and it's gonna be all she wrote, people. He's gonna counter this dude. It's gonna be all she wrote, and that's just the way that is. And Amir Khan in another interview talking about he think he got a chance if he fought Conor McGregor. And Khan says he's trained MMA before. Okay, now I believe that, but you know, Khan. Honestly, if he got in a, if he got into an octagon with Conor McGregor, Khan would get the living. Khan would get his ass whooped. People, Amir Khan is delusional. He delusional. You really think you're gonna beat Conor McGregor? The man went up. Conor McGregor went fought 25 pounds heavier against Nate Diaz, and really and truly, y'all, Conor McGregor almost defeated Nate Diaz. And that's a warrior, a real warrior. Can Khan, what is Khan talk? Khan, you can't beat Conor McGregor. You cannot. In a boxing match, probably. But in the octagon, you can't beat Conor McGregor, you delusional bastard. That's just how it is. People, this is a problem. This man, when he gets beat, defeated, he's brutally knocked out. He brutally knocked out. What do you think Canelo's going to do? What do you think Conor McGregor would do? And this is something Conor would do. He would go fight McGregor to say that, oh, McGregor called out Floyd. I'll fight McGregor, and I'll do a better job than Floyd could have did. See, Conor, this is the logic of Emir Khan. It's the logic. His logic is, let me do a better job than Floyd, because the man is obsessed with Floyd Mayweather Jr. And if you don't believe it, look at a video by Ticket TV when Amir Khan and Floyd Mayweather were in the same venue. Amir Khan looked at Floyd Mayweather Jr. the whole night. He stared at him. This man has a problem. He's got an obsession for another man, and that's just how it is. Okay? Khan is going to go in this ring. He's going to be confident, and as soon as Canelo hit him the first time, he's going to be on his bicycle the whole night. And, Con, if you ever, ever got in the ring with Conor McGregor, okay, you would be knocked out even faster than before. He's going to kick him. Man, I don't even want to think to what Conor McGregor would do to Amir Khan inside of an octagon. The man's delusional. 
And everybody listening to this video, you know that the man's a, this man is delusional. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done.